Today we're going to be going over my Fortnite controller settings to help improve your gameplay. These are my current chapter 5 settings which has helped improve my sniper aim, my shotgun aim, and my AR aim. These settings should also help you with your building and editing. If this video helps you, be sure to like and subscribe. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And let's get to my settings. As you can see, I play controller on PC. So looking at window mode here, we got on full screen. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. Uh, my frame rate limit i have it at unlimited and then for my rendering mode i have direct x11 colorblind i don't really mess with and then a lot of the graphics quality i have off or i have set to low because i want the best frames possible when i'm playing and then i have show fps on in case i see any dip in my frames when i come over to audio the main thing you want to make sure that is on is visual audio now this is actually a change for me from the last time i did a controller settings video i actually never had visual sound effects on until chapter five i'm not gonna lie i was pretty stubborn but i was definitely missing out by not having it on then as far as the volume i have music set to low sound effects dialogue about halfway voice chat a little higher same with cinematics then my main is at 100. my matchmaking region is auto but i play on west toggle sprint auto open doors both are on and then my mantle activation and my hurdle activation are both hold for jump and press for jump i do not have hold to swap pickup on that it actually drives me crazy toggle targeting i have off mark danger when targeting on auto pickup weapons off i that also drives me crazy i hate picking up a weapon that i don't want just because i have an empty slot then go into my preferred item slots feel free to copy this if you want but i got slot one shotgun slot two assault rifle slot three is my sniper slot four is my consumable item so heals and then slot five is going to be my mobility going over to reticle i got on ammo indicator on damage numbers i do cumulative instead of list damage feedback hit only the number scale right there hud scale i have at 70 and then the rest feel free to copy because i just have on besides latency debug stats next is the gyro options and i still have no idea what the gyro aiming is maybe i'm just really stupid that's probably it but if you want to explain it to me in the comments feel free to do so but as you can see i have it off mouse and keyboard sensitivity I have it at whatever Fortnite put it at because I don't play a mouse and keyboard ever. All right, so now we're on to the main settings. My controller settings, you can see I got controller auto run on, builder pro. I don't know why you would ever have builder pro off at this point. Edit hold time as low as possible. Slide hold time I have between the middle bar and 0.00. Vibration is off. I don't know why you would have it on. It's just going to throw off your aim. Quick weapon beta. I have not tested this. I'm going to be honest with you. I watched a couple videos and it's not for me. Now for sensitivity, build mode and edit mode, I have both at 2.0 i used to have both of the senses at 2.2 when i used to grind build mode and i took a long break and now i'm slowly getting back into it so i wanted to start off with a lower sense use advanced options i don't know why you wouldn't have this on you need to have this on uh you don't need to be using just the look sensitivity in the simple ads anymore look horizontal speed and vertical speed i have 39 percent right now and as you can see i have no boost on i don't like the boost they're not for me my 39 and 39 i've jumped from 40 i've jumped to 38 i just felt the most comfortable with 39 right in the middle so i'm leaving it there with my aim down sights for horizontal and vertical i have them both at 10. i put them down to eight for a bit i just felt like it was too slow nine i felt about the same so i put it back up to 10 because that's where i felt most comfortable and as you can see, I have no boosts on. Like I mentioned, I don't like them. I play on linear. Now my left stick dead zone is going to be 8%. And my right stick dead zone is going to be 6 Pretty much you can lower this to as much as you want before you start getting stick drift. Once you start getting stick drift, then you know you need to bump up the percentage a little bit. Enable foot controller off. I don't use foot controller. And vehicles accelerate with thumbstick, I guess, on. Now my binds. As you can see, I play with a scuff prestige controller four paddles here in the back and i use all four if you only use two paddles bind your jump and bind your edit now as you can see my jump is a which is a paddle then i crouch and slide with the right stick i'm gonna sprint with y which is also a paddle fire of course with rt aim with lt i reload with x next weapon swap previous weapon swap rb and lb uh, for my pickaxe, I actually click in with the left stick. And then when we get to the building settings, you can see the wall RT, floor RB, stairs LT, roof LB. Uh, most important here though, my switch mode is B, which is also connected to a paddle. Then when we go down to edit here, I select with RT, I confirm with LT, and I reset with Y, which is the same as my sprint, which I use a paddle for. And then editing my builds is actually my right D-pad, which is also bind with a paddle my fourth paddle but those are my controller settings if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments if this video helps you be sure to like and subscribe use code tomb spider in the fortnite item shop and enjoy the rest of the gameplay 110 110 on the front
Knocked. One. I'm shockwaving. Got him dead. 